in this video, you will have found about definitions of intraspecific competitions, a few examples of intraspecific competitions, type, and also the consequence in intraspecific competitions. Intraspecific competition occur when it is individuals of the same species that are faced with situations when resources for survival and reproduction are limited. Individuals can compete for food, water, space, light, meats, or any other resource which require for survival and reproduction. Songbird like Eastern Tauhus compete for a limited resource of food. They defending their territories from which they exclude their neighbors in an effort to secure resource. Larger, dominant grizzly bears occupying the best fishing spot on a river during the salmon spawning season. Sarcastic fingerhead fish compete for space. All shells provide the perfect space for they to hide and hunt from prey, also avoid from any potential predators. While intraspecific competition among plants, these plants competing for limited resources such as soil nutrient and water. Some plants that cannot obtain much sunlight tend to bend toward the sun. Other plants adapt by growing taller or developing bigger roots. Types of intraspecific competitions the types of intraspecific competition is first is scramble competitions. Scramble competitions occur when individuals obtain a declining fraction of the available resource as the number of competitors increase. This type of competition is indirect. For example, they are fed on woody boughs all winter long, putting individuals in indirect competition with each other. Second types of competitions is contest competitions. These competitions is indirect form of interaction when resources are actively defended from other competitors. For example, include a song sparrow defending a terrory or an oak spreading its crown to gather as much light as possible. Next is consequence of intraspecific competitions. Major impacts of intraspecific competition is reduced in population growth rate as the population density increases. The logistic growth curve is initially very similar to the exponential growth curve. When population density is low, individuals are free from competitions and can grow rapidly. However, as the population reaches its maximum, intraspecific competition becomes fiercer and the per capita growth rate slows until the population reaches its stable size.